I want to show you just how easy it is to deploy a new application with K9. So here's my little demo application. You can see it's running locally on my computer. And what it is, is it's just a whiteboard where everything that you draw will get saved so that if you refresh the page, the drawing's still here. Now, I'm pretty happy with this app at this point, so I want to push it out and show it to the world. I put it on GitHub already. And so now it's pretty much ready to go. I can hop over to K9. And I need, what I need to do is I need to create a new cluster. I'll give this a name. I'll call it Tutorial Cluster. And I will select Manage Kubernetes, and I'll select DigitalOcean. But K9 actually works with any cloud provider that supports Kubernetes. And at the moment, you can see here on the Kubernetes website, there's 214 different cloud providers that supports Kubernetes. So I've already created my cluster on DigitalOcean. So what I'll do is I'll download the cube config file and I'll hop over here and I will upload it to K9. So now it's going to go through an installation process. Uh, once your cluster is finished installing, you can hop over to projects and create a new project. I'll call my project example whiteboarder. I'll make sure to put it on the cluster that I created and I will connect my GitHub repository. And from there, I'll set up auto deploy, I'll set up the Docker file paths, and I will click submit. Now I need to create a new service. And so I'll create a new web service. You have a couple choices here, but what I want is something that can expose a port. And my, the port that my application listens on is on port 3000, and I'll allow public networking. I will click Submit. And then I want to make sure to give it a domain name. So in this case, I have a domain name that I've purchased, and I'll call it basically whiteboarderexample.k9.sh. And I'll go ahead and add that domain. And so now I can, because I've made changes to the service, I need to hit, I need to redeploy the application. But once my deployment's completed, I can hop back to services and I could set up my DNS. So I need to add a new A record from this domain name for k9.sh, which is managed in Cloudflare, to this IP address. And then I can click Save. After you set up your DNS, k9 should automatically set up your mapping. And also, you can see here it's issued a certificate. So this is all over HTTPS. And you can see that the app is live. But we have one problem. If we refresh the page, our stuff disappears because we never set up Redis. So let's hop back to the K9. And this time, instead of projects, we'll go into add-ons and we'll create a new add-on. And same deal, we'll set up in the tutorial cluster and we'll call this uh, main-redis. And we'll create a new Redis instance and I'll give it two gigabytes of storage. Once Redis is finished installing, come down here and you can copy the URL and then we'll head back to our example whiteboarder project and over to adding environment variables and set the Redis URL to be the one that we just got. So now we have to do another deployment because we've changed the application. Once the deployment is completed, you could click on this and you'll see that everything works now. So I can click get started, I could draw something, and if I refresh the page, it's still there. The last thing I'll show you here is that K9 is now fully integrated with your GitHub repository. You can see here, I put a little version tag, and I'll just go ahead and I'll use GitHub to edit the code directly. And I will find that version right here, and I'll bump it up to version 1.0.12. I'll come over here, I'll say bump version, and I will make a push. Now if I go back to K9, you could see that my changes showed up automatically and it's starting to deploy. Once the deployment's completed, I can head back to my project, refresh the page, 
and you'll see that now the version is bumped to 1.0.12.